beep, beep. What is up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to make these atonal bass lines. Which I promise, when you watch this video, you're gonna think I'm a noob, and I might be. But let me know if you think it sounds good, because this is the only way I know of to get these kind of basses. What I'm gonna do is grab a knock bass from the Zero Volume Five, which just came out of VS1 support, and what we're gonna do is grab something like this, which sounds kind of cool. You know, I could drop it in and get the party started. And okay, cool. I want to open up a sampler. And the idea here with the sampler is that I want to go down to the ninth level of hell like Dante. You know, if he was a DJ, this would be like going to the side trance world or some like dark stuff stuff kind of stuff stuff. I want to go as deep or as low as I can go. Why? Well, if we play the bass like this, there's a key to it, right? And now, if I go really low, like. Okay, in headphones, this kind of sounds good and a lot of newbies will make the mistake of doing this because they think it sounds good. However, what if we do that, but now we put in the work to make it sound right. So what I'm gonna use is a decapitator, saturate the shit out of this thing. We're trying to like shit out a, a good bass, like, <laughs> like a turd, uh, but we're gonna saturate it so that we start to develop that. Now we're gonna shape this sound, okay? It's very atonal, it doesn't have a key. Look at that blob, you know, we're going down low. Oh, who knew? But now we're gonna do the stuff people say not to do, which is utilize a brick cut, AKA you're going from 100 to zero real quick, so it's like the 99 cent Drake or some shit. And then from there, we're gonna go here and do this. Now what I wanna do here, I'm gonna make like this little pattern. We'll, we'll just do something basic like, all right, so it's going to sound like literally we're in the jungle in the middle of nowhere. Who knows? All right, I need to enlist the help of Mark Papa, Mark Daddy. Maybe move it to the right a bit. We don't want to give away too much of the highs because we're going to kill the illusion. Let's switch the kick maybe to something a little less ferocious. Okay, that sounds pretty decent. Now, what if we elongate instead of do this? And then let's go here, do something cool. Okay, now from here, let's again shape this. Maybe go down to 38. Oh, look. Sounds like a damn techno rumble. But now, if I want to make sure this doesn't have a key, I can add a pitch envelope, go to the moon, and just make sure it never goes to where it needs to go. So pretty much like you know, a spaceship going up and blowing up. It's not too good. All right, Mark Knight, you're too fucking saturated. Too much salt, homie. Hopefully, you're still with me. I think this is a very cool thing. And you can also add glides. Now, again, this is a tonal, and there's some bass lines I've heard where I'm like, how the f <laughs> did they make that? So this is one of the ideas. Now, if we want to really noob it up, like really get, you know, noob here, like first week producing, we can also grab a loop of anything. Here, I'll do this bottle whisper, <laughs> and it's going to sound like this, okay? We're going to turn this into a bass. Sure. All right, so what we're going to do, we'll start this over just so you, you can't say, oh, you know, this is just a one-time thing. We can, we can emulate this. We can keep doing it, and that's the important thing. You know, that's science, right? We can repeat something, then that means it's a law. All right, so a newbie law. Put it in. Let's go somewhere where there's it's fat as shit. Maybe there. Again, we'll put this really high up so that way when we play C3, it's super low. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So we can see how that sounds like. Kind of newbie. But again, once we do the processing, this is all going to change. We're going to push it now. Now, I could do this. How about this? We'll keep it interesting so I can teach you guys something. There's a thing called signal flow. Very basic to some, but again, super important because we forget. If I do this, obviously I'm gonna insert 
into decapitator, just the low end here. So in decapitator, we'll get this section, not this, this, and distort the shit out of it. So we could do that. Now, if you notice, we're noobing it up because it's a wide base. So this is where Kashmir comes in with his sick, sexy um, utility trick because I can collapse it into one side and now I have a mono, holy shit, kind of thing. Let's keep it here. But now I need to cue after Decapitator because it's adding these harmonics, which I don't want. I just want the bottom end. And then I might have to boost here. Holy shit, that's nasty. I don't know if it's gonna work, guys. This is too crazy now. Portamento. Yes, that's better. Let's go higher. Ooh. Now with these, I would recommend compressing, obviously, because we are doing these big jumps, and when you go higher up, it gets louder, just like a chihuahua. Higher perceived loudness, as they say. Proceed to. They didn't see this coming now. And we're gonna hit, I don't know, we'll use a preset, I don't give a shit. Let's go. Enseñándoles a ustedes como ser un bass bien chingón, bien chingón, con un puto sound de tran, tran, tran. ¿Quién se lo averiguaría? ¿Qué trabajaría? Me miro como un noob, pero te espero. Que tu bass no suena así, 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 así. Bien genérico, tra, 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 tra. Now, the last thing I want to do is add a reverb. The reason for this is, again, there's these basses I hear where I try to figure them out through traditional means. But sometimes you got to take out the secret weapons. Um, so maybe a bit of reverb can help. <laughs> so what do you guys think about making bass lines like this? Now, again, I tried making these basses from a traditional standpoint of utilizing a synth, a theory. But again, these bass lines are made by producers that sometimes they just don't really care and throw a bunch of stuff and get cool stuff to come out. And again, I had to think like a noob to make a noob sound. But again, it's just for the memes. As always, guys, if you want to support the channel, Deceiver Volume 5 is out. One of the best Tech House packs out at the moment. Go check it out. Look at the recreations in the video. If you like any of the sounds you hear, consider supporting it. It means the world, and it helps me continue making these videos without having to get hundreds of thousands of views because the people that support me allow me to make videos that don't really get many views, but again provide a bunch of help to you and if you want to check out my music just for a little bit of social proof you can head over to spotify i'll make sure to leave a link tree in the description where you can also find my music just again if you're the type of guy that needs to see stuff like that before you take any advice you find on the internet other than that guys make sure to subscribe if you haven't and i'll catch you guys next time for another video much love take care and peace out oh,